Well, hello guys. Um, today we are going to start playing uh, my first game in, that I'm here recording with streaming and all that to YouTube. Uh, and this game is going to be The Outer Worlds. I really like the all the media effort put into it and well I, I really love exploring and all that so let's give it a try. I think it's a typical game that you can you know make many choices and play however you want. So maybe I'm going to make two gameplays and one of them is going to be a nice gentle gameplay and the second one is going to be the barbaric rude angry and aggressive gameplay <laughs> so well here we go i have to say i always go to the settings first and i'm a maniac of the settings very i don't know if it's going to be Good for streaming in the AI, but we can try it. Show chromatic aberration. Uh, I think it's going to be fine. <laughs> Audio. Actually, I have to say and remind that I'm not a native English speaker, uh, I'm from Spain. And people from Spain have really a difficulty for properly speaking English, so let's take this as a training as well. Controls, uh, whatever, I will explain the controls later. Don't show the player helmet, it's ugly. Oh. Sounds cool. Tutorials, yeah, it's my first uh, time playing this game, so I will need a tutorial. <laughs> okay, I, I was that makes it. Mm, new game. <laughs> oh, holy shit, what's this? Uh, I'm not so hardcore. <laughs> Let's try the normie difficulty, yeah. I, I mean, I guess it can be fun to see me dying, but let's avoid it. <laughs> As Peters, yes, I totally need them. Else I will not hate what they say. <laughs> All I know about the game is because some friend told me it's about corporations being evil. Uh, no, I hope they are. <laughs> <coughs> mm. 
Looks like the typical mat, Doctor. Oh, dude, you have been identified. <laughs> like in China. <laughs> okay. Fines. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. a lot of people frozen there. Oh. Okay, we have come to a really interesting part and it's one of the parts I spend more time in single player uh, and it is to choose the character. Hmm. Strength and dexterity. Hmm. Rather anemic, but at least you'll fit in. At least you don't have rickets yet. Ooh, they must have been feeding you spacer's choice rations. Okay, let's go for... Um... Let's just hope you're handy with a gun. It's, it sounds crazy like this, right? <laughs> we are going to make some gunner. Uh, gunslinger. Pew, pew. Mm, long guns. Uh, that's right. Uh... I like regeneration, so let's go hike. Critical. What does charm? Reputation, companion. Some people are rough around the edges. You're serrated. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot of penalty. Uh... Let's go with this. So here is skills. to paint the system red, my friend. And let's give it some defense. Reflexes of a bristling cane. Yeah. Ready for a noob. <laughs> mm. Aptitude. Totally worker. Uh, either so it the act to get out. Hmm. Medical technician, you are great, uh, those well. <laughs> Team mascot. Hey, Alette, it gives you inspiration. 
I don't even know how to spell it. more than your designated profession. Yeah, that's right. Okay, here goes something that I like to do in this kind of games and it is to press the cursed button. Ah! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally cursed. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is this is supposed to be female? Female uh... <laughs> What is the fucking difference? <laughs> uh, <what>? Random <laughs> We are somewhat similar <laughs> Okay no <laughs> Random is always, always hilarious, crazy. <laughs> I love this button. <laughs> uh, let's see, female. What the fuck is how? How come? Are <laughs> how come are these the females? <laughs> to be a vampire yeah <laughs> let's pick the white the most white Okay, that's that's a bit weird. Let's wait. Uh, yeah, something normal. Mm. That's it for the face so far. Let's 
is probably for now hair. Um. Why are half of the goddamn hairstyles so bad? I guess this one will have to do. The hair colors is not being generous either. It looks just like eye lights. Now you see my muchija. <laughs> You're going to use the sharinga. Mm. Wait. these options. Uh, um, help. This is itchy. She got a nose blood. Okay, let's try to find something uh, normal. Evil Empress. Something like that. No scars. Uh, say she looks decent. Yeah, let's let's make her like this. Uh, name. Name. Why do I have to pick a name? I want to fuck it. Uchiha, yeah. <laughs> she, she totally looks like one anyways. Um, what's this? Uh, uh, summary, okay. Yeah, let's go. Four less. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Seems like a Star Wars. <laughs> there are two.
There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony was inexplicably knocked out of skin space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. 70 fucking years. No, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Uh, yeah, everything. <laughs> Not to worry, I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. I'll forget all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, I use the last of my I've had a feeling about this. <laughs> I don't want to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. It'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. Sixth anniversary of the house. So we were in that ship and uh, it's called the Hope. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, mm -hmm. where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. Okay, so we are going to land. suppose he was not so cool as he said. So anyways, exploring, uh, we are in another world, uh, we have Saturn, it looks like Saturn. Some cool rings. So this is, I have, I can jump, I have some double jump. Uh, Okay, so far it's pretty intuitive, uh, you run like always, uh, you jump like always. Uh. Well, let's explore, yeah. Whee! Oh, <laughs> come on! <laughs> it's just a little jump. Hey, Sprat, what are you? Sprat, hello! No, don't run, don't run. Use B to go underneath. Obstacles and to sneak. Yeah, I, I actually don't know if the circle is B. But I will was so, uh, yeah. Hey, hey. 
say. Whatever. Mm. Anyways, let me check the streaming because I have the feeling the PC is overheating. Uh, We're hitting a lot, in fact. Uh, let me check. I think uh, I'm going to change a little uh, settings and we are going to no no good uh, 8 yeah let's go for 8 maybe it's going to be better like this uh, I hope you guys well don't feel too disgusted uh, by by this. Just a sneak and avoid detection. Hmm, Marauder. What happened to your legs, guy? Oh shit! Ah uh, yeah, <laughs> better to sneak, yeah. <clears throat> I was these things did it. They add the poor guy's legs. Hello. Oh, it's, it's, it's a yoke, it's a yoke, it's a yoke, okay. Calm down. Hello! Oh! <laughs> it's not so timid as it says, but... Medical, let's try medical, yeah. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Why? Uh, Spacer's what? <laughs> oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills, thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired, right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life, crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Hmm. <laughs> OK. 
okay, what happens with these? Law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some whole head out of their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Hmm. Okay, so we can lie, we can persuade, intimidate. Actually, I'm going to pick the intimidate options uh, in the future, in another gameplay. For now, uh, let's be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You look like okay. you're way around the gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too for patching the alcohol. All spacers choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacers choice. Yes. Now the time. <laughs> okay. The hope. The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Uh -huh. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A pretty place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. These guys are traumatized with uh, with the special choice uh, thing. Okay, whatever. I got a gun, guys. Uh, and I suppose I'm having to do this. No, wrong button. should feel bad or good now uh, but whatever it was a nice effect so yeah experience poor things <laughs> tactical time dilation temporary whatever time powers <laughs> I have time powers let's try out Like that. 
Okay, so basically, eh, slowing down time is pretty good for when you use a gun. And some people don't like to see their companions dying. this shit but let's take it There's more of these guys around there. Yeah, someone overdid it. Yeah, a lot. So how do we check the map and... I will try the usual buttons. Uh, no, it's not this. Once I keep at a time, I get into the waypoint and select the weapon slot. Uh, yes. Oh, here we are. So it's this button, okay. It's a cool saber, but we are not going to use too much of it here. Yes. 
so guys um, items actually have weight so we cannot carry everything uh, what means pretty much use a lot of shit in the nice route, okay? So... Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as they cross these marauders off in the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of weeks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Customer satisfaction zero. <laughs> I'm persuaded, yeah. Well, sometimes management's real good at cost benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. Yes. It's time we cross those marauders off. Find whoever owns that ship and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Oh yes. Uh. Oh, and then. Some all the dirty job. And I only got one kill. <laughs>
It contains valuable plunder. <laughs> okay, I hate it. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have some funny ship <clears throat> computer. Apex transport. <laughs> the unreally world war. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, we have some stays there and what's there? Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable amenities, including the <laughs> workbench. And Wormwedge. So she said I cannot use the warm wedge, so she also said there's nothing word of bail one here this yeah using the workbench <laughs> Repair and grade and modify your weapons armor Got a shotgun, babies. I like it. Oh, I can repair it with this. Amount of peace seems. Uh, well, whatever then. She was right, I cannot use it. But it doesn't change the fact that we found uh, some nice shotgun, even if broken. Changing weapons. Please be advised that using the re-specification machine will not make you a better person. Um, really? Um, no. So this is for setting. Uh, I know what she meant, wait. Not making me a better person. Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Marauder, please be informed this ship does not possess a working power regulator for you to steal. <laughs> okay. I won't steal anything. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. <laughs> She's 
playing with us, huh? Mm. Really all see. Your honor, please be informed. The ship has no crew for you to murder. <laughs> She's already thinking I am some murderer. Or look lusty. I mean, uh, it's true. Uh, It's true, I, I killed that rat, but <laughs> it was not on purpose. Uh, I don't appreciate being told that way. <laughs> Self destruct. <laughs> I have been programmed to communicate with diplomacy and tact. Please allow me to demonstrate. Just initiated. That's not diplomacy, I tell you. <laughs> supposed to be happening? <laughs> you are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. They, they programmed you well, yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there. Or, this is how it turns. Maybe it's that guy's ship. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawborn. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawborn. <laughs> I like some of these options, really. I, I have to try them in, in other. Um, you know, we were supposed to meet. It's there. Uh, it's that, sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Um. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh. <laughs> Okay, I was. Captain well, Hawthorne. Well, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. If we have this option, we have to use this option, yeah. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. 
I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? with the Captain Hawthorne motions. I uh, know, let's be nice. Poor computer, it's going to have its feelings damaged. Uh, okay, thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> Okay, we have leveling up. It's a really funny level up, by the way. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. What can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. Um, skin improvements. Aunty Cleo. Huh. Skill points, two spin, improvement skills, blah blah blah, okay. Okay, we have points that we can use and hit effects uh, so the clip is there as well you passed sounds cool Okay, so I think the did the location hit effects. Yeah, it's because I have more than 20 in here. So it unlocks something. It's for a word. Sounds good. Perks and <laughs> surely this is normal. And uh, Lone Wolf sounds cool.
Too fast travel when in Cumberland. Huh? like the, this special power so we are going to take this one yeah you know uh, slowing down time is really cool I, I like that that kind of power so let's make her more special in that regard Yes. Mm. <laughs> hey, <bye. Say. laughs> this happened to be your ship. Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we get a doctor pay. Uh, <laughs> this is an option I have to try at some point. I don't have a job. <laughs> I don't have a job, mate. <laughs> Too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay. So that's it. What? And... No. I didn't want to use that uh, map. Uh, fast traveling um, okay that way how do I block I can block with a gun uh, So I have on like a perfect block, but I can't block with a gun, so it's useless for now. Okay, so we have found some cool item. Primal Hunter. What the fuck are these things? Uh, oh, another Primal Hunter. 
squad uh, fuck it yeah there are more <laughs> where are you guys from no wait what the fuck he went <laughs> It's uh, over here. It was you? Yes. You know, I usually do this kind of random things and <laughs> I like to sidetrack a lot and stay away from the path until someone hits my head and kills me yes it happens what's that? what's that? <laughs> what's that? no! no! okay you want to him on turn oh okay that's that's not cool it's not right what the fuck they are throwing but oh oh out of ammo uh to run away. No! Not there. Not there. Fuck! He's still here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Calm down, guys. I just killed your boss. Nothing personal. there. Help, please. It's going to attack you as well. <laughs> I, I told you it's going to attack you. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I don't even know how we are going to stay on the fucker. You only have one saber. It got 
killed? Yeah, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> seems we are safe. Yeah, you are the only one doing it. I can say the same about the lieutenants, though, so... Okay, we have one... one trouble, and it is that... we don't actually have any ammo. We just have one city sword and we are not a character made for character made for um, melee. I wonder so uh, what were they and saving so hard there was something important here uh, and that's why there were monsters or Blade. Um, actually, item repair. Okay, yeah, item repair. This is the uh, diamond. So this one sells better, and we use this. No, we don't use it. Uh, seems to be more shitty. And enough pieces for for repairing whatever Okay, so we kill the big things and we have got some ammo now. And actually some coal. I think they grab us a rifle. rid of all the pistols and going to use the rifle. Yes, 
I wish I would have one of these before. But well, now we can go and also kill those guys that were there waiting for us. anything hmm? what it's relaxing and most time for war and so no difficulty you can only rest in your bed on your ship well let's make it Oh cool, so now it's the day and nobody came to kill us yet. hiding behind the rocks, the uh, clever dudes. But they didn't see this coming. Someone from behind. I'm very sorry for you guys. Hmm. I was actually lucky because uh, you know, if I would have taken this path uh, from the ship here, they would have certain advantage hiding. Uh, it will not be, it will not be so good. And this poor guy is, this poor guy died. Okay. Two, two guys died. Okay, any more monsters uh, or things or... Not so far. Too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just 
Grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Low, low prices. <laughs> Let's be nice and cap sign. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Bad shake your hands when I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Dave Silas, Junior and Humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spaces Choice family. Okay, the Spaces Choice shit. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I do what I want. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent and pay their dues, you see. Yeah, well, that, that actually works in real life too, you know. We have to pay for the graves. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? Four I'm the next guy. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Mm. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Make sure he pays up. Okay. Yeah? Huh? Mm -hmm. It's keeping you employed. <laughs> Quite a lot. Couldn't tell you. No, I mean, I'm contractually prohibited from saying anything that might reflect poorly on Spacer's choice. Ah, avoid it. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that either. Look, forget I said anything. Ah, uh, sounds fishy. <laughs> you could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater sap slots near every soul to play. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30. Carry the one, uh, all my life. Perfect match. Works been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. The only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Well, let's go for that mission and... Watch it. Sorry. It was not intended, I swear. And journal, uh, my great mother. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if I said that one is active. Uh, let's see. 
let's try it out. Granger and I didn't count it. like this kind of games that seems like a skyrim um, you can go everywhere taking either either yeah everything as long as you can wear it of course uh, Okay, sounds like bullshit. We sans you, whatever it is. Yeah, well. Okay, let's head to the city. The only source of protein abusing worker needs. associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plague. You don't want what we've got. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Head sick. Strength, I'm not worried. I don't head sick often. Whoa. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. Hmm? People trouble. Lazy worker like me getting special treatment from some out of town physiker like you. People will talk. People will talk. always tells us <laughs> weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. Oh my god. Do they only care about work, work, working? It's terrible. Want. That's ridiculous. I really 
really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. You got Adrena time? How? No, I don't want to know. Could be you stole it. Could be you're trying to test me. See if I'm going to violate company policy. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Okay. I was... So we can actually head sick here. Ah, it doesn't look like a good place. Mm -hmm. was intentional. Uh, stealing was. So what's that? Reputation? Oh yeah, I'm negative with spaces choice. Sorry about that guy. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. <laughs> I can show you my hands. <laughs> I really have to choose this. <laughs> Sometime, yeah. Uh... We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. Yeah, I see. I see I'm Conrad. that. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacer's choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Mm. Prepare my remains for water. Look, I need to repair my ship, and you are not the one to repair it, right? So... Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. That's a new work. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. <laughs> I don't understand the word you said. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Oh. I don't care, perhaps. <laughs> and... <laughs> That's some quality crap. Alright, well, don't be so hard. I have to be, if only to prepare myself for my inevitable dressing down at the hands of corporate. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. <laughs> Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I've proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. 
I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Yeah, yes, if they die. That... Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Much obliged. Yes. Okay, so you can steal if they are not seeing you. Sounds cool. Just let me head in here, close the door. Uh, okay, so let's... Spacious Choice Ward and... Here's where they prepare them for... Scientist. I've is shot himself, this is why I'm just going to have Cardiff. What? He killed himself and against the company's property. Police <laughs> man here. He still didn't have a full set of gold. He family or something. This body, right? Just dig around and pay them out. use medicine uh, why not let's brag <laughs> oh am i in the company of a fellow doctor uh, yeah <laughs> mm. i am a spacer's choice certified surgeon and if you must know i can stitch a severed thumb with a 58 percent chance of avoiding gangrene oh the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. No. <laughs> that biker, vicar. Vicar Maximilian. Vicar. Our man from the OSI. Here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. Ah, uh, yeah? Uh. <laughs> he doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Yeah, it's like, uh... You know, clergy always do that, so... Go ahead. The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. I'm not even going to ask this. Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Oiled canid liver and a splash of ethanol. Hmm.
company policy, friend. Yeah, I we don't know. have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. <laughs> Nature is monstrous, friend, and this plague is natural selection at work. Yeah, okay. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. Okay, look. What can I do for you? I know what the LEM thing is. You know about Eugene? How? You were probably poking around my things. <laughs> I really shouldn't leave my letter sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills? Can I? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> the good vicar Maximilian and I have never quite seen eye to eye, but your point is well taken. Here you are, gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Not bad. Day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. At least we've got work. General store discovered. Poor man. to one more common achievement. Mr. Ouch. <laughs> Mr. Ouch. War passed away from plague. She was a choose to receive medical treatment and Nobody can afford the fees, uh, they have to be terrible. Say my final goodbyes and all. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. <laughs> Church cloth knows his scriptures. 
but there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. Yeah, it makes sense. Play? I don't know anything about a play. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. <laughs> You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Ah, uh, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Spend enough time in the Spacer's Choice family, and you will come to understand. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's Choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Oh my god, everyone says that. Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch, and you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Okay. Go right ahead. We are going to talk more about this. <laughs> what, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This is a test. Am I being tested right now? Yeah. It's uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra Tail. <laughs> Telling yourself that won't make it true. Yeah. <laughs> you are condescending to me, and I do not care for it. I am lucky to have my work, lucky to be alive. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Mm. Go right ahead. Play. I take umbrage with your choice of phrase. We ain't sick, we're rugged. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. What do you mean by that? For fuck's sake. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Spacer's choice is built on love. love. And like any real love, it is cold and tough when needs must. <laughs> Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Uh, skip. It is better than fair. It's company policy. <laughs> Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy. It is policy better than fair. It's life. company policy. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Music to my ears. It's equal to have the Okay, so thing is overpriced here and I can sell shit. Was I can sell shit and I am on shit. Yay. <laughs> Shit. This neither. Hmm. Well, I have sold a lot of things and. We don't have much.
Well, we are going to let it like this for now. Since we have find the warehouse You know, the fun thing is, this is actually the good guy run. But what if they don't catch us? Why not? I don't think it's that bad. drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand, but you, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. I can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. <laughs> Traitors, a lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. 
Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? You know, I, I think those traitors have a reason to rebel against this uh, as well. Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Mm. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. That's... that's cruel. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. Relax. Three drinks might be too much. I'm top of a guy. Look, I don't know what you're blabbering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Uh, yeah. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I have heard the same I story every time. I <laughs> poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. People will talk, yeah. <laughs> Don't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. God. This is a gossipy talk. Yeah. Gossipy village. Town? I don't know the word. Mm, I feel bad for these people. Yeah, so everyone. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. I don't see how that's any of your business. Oh. 26 cents, not going to happen. Yeah, it was not. Will there be anything else? Coming right up. Let's talk. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. <laughs> company police. Go ahead. The Hope? No, I've never mixed a drink by that name. I could get you a rum and something if you like. Wait, no, never mind. We're all out of something. I'm from the hope myself. <laughs> you feeling a bit flushed? Look, why don't you go set yourself down in the corner before you get all tangled footed? Pretend you're drunk. 
Sober folk don't talk the way you are. Not unless they're looking for a trip to Tartarus. The Hope's folklore, all right. 60, 70 year old folklore by now. The board don't approve of spreading seditious rumors and falsehoods. You're inviting trouble talking that way, and I don't want a part of it. Okay. Look, either shut your gob or stick a drink in it. We're done talking about this. Coming right up. Okay, so talking about the hope is not a loss. We'll get you mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's choice. <laughs> Spacer's choice. Now we can talk about anything. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson, Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not playing as spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. <laughs> you know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather. I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Well, so me. <laughs> She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar, get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage, is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy, and possibly for hire, ain't ya? Could do a good turn for an expiring old man. You can't afford me. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work, that's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast, I got some questions, yeah. Sounds annoying. Do what I can. There are ones. <laughs> you will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Well, I think I killed all the marauders anyways. It is a reality of life in the Vale. Grass is brown, sky is gray, marauders are outside the walls. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Company policy. the same thing every morning. You've seen those young workers at the cannery. 
What with their unbent spines and pristine knee joints? I can't compete with that. So you'll do it then? Yeah. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. He sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Whoa. Yeah, this thing. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? Mm. He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Whoa. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Wow, okay. That's all I can ask of you. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. Yeah, me. <laughs> oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Okay, Mrs. Sanchez just getting more and more deep. There's always things to do. I like that. But it's actually getting too late and I think we are going to continue this in the part two. After we check this. Useless translator. <laughs> Okay, we will inspect this house and then we're going to make the part two. So far, it's something going on here. Also.
as sounds made with real atmospheric contaminants from Tartarus. It doesn't sound very testy. Her birthday is when she's legally delivered. Is it a pet or something? Okay, time, time to save. So we can do that, but we are just going to close the game and uh, we continue in the second part. This said, you didn't see this. 